Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today we're gonna replace drums with Magic Samplitude Pro X4. So of course, uh, if you received some uh, recording from another studio, or uh, you are learning to record drums, but you're not very satisfied with the result, uh, there's a few uh, solutions to replace your drum sounds with um, sampling from uh, virtual instruments and many other techniques. Uh, here we're gonna try to do it within Magic's uh, Samplitude Pro X4 without any other plugins than the virtual drum. Um, it is not the simplest that I saw. There's other solutions like Dramagog and many others uh, that you can explore. But if you bought Samplitude Pro X4, there's a way to do it. Let me show you how. Let's dive in right away. All right, let's start with uh, listening to a part of the song. Okay, so what we would want to do is to replace the bass drum and the snare. So let's start with the bass drum. Let's listen to it alone. Okay. Um, within Samplitude itself, um, you in the object menu, you'll have uh, audio to MIDI. Uh, once you select any audio track, uh, now as you see, uh, they're uh, grouped together. So either you can right click and choose ungroup, or you can hold control and shift on your keyboard and then click on the parts that you want to select. One thing to know is that uh, Samplitude uses Melodyne to detect. Uh, any audio to MIDI activity. The thing is, uh, by default, uh, Melodyne will detect melodies. Uh, so you'll get uh, notes everywhere instead of having just one note and choosing what to trigger in your uh, virtual drum effect. So uh, what you would want to do first is to go um, into Melodyne and change the algorithm to percussive and you can redetect. So it will be only one note. And if you do uh, the audio to MIDI detection again, you'll get only one note to deal with. So it created a MIDI track uh, just below the original track. Uh, we can specify that it is a MIDI track. So on our new track, we will choose uh, the output go to the Addictive Drum plugin, and now we should hear the notes. But the thing is, uh, once one, uh, this is not the right notes, so we can select it, go into the uh, Object Editor, into MIDI Editor. You need to select all the notes, so we will click on the, the window, control A, and then we hit play. And we can change the note up and down. Okay. So we have a bass drum. If we listen with the original one, You see there's too many hits. So this means that um, the ARR Melodyne 
detect everything that is on the track. And if we listen to the mic alone, we hear, we hear some bleeding from uh, other instruments on the drum set. So what we would need to do is to uh, put a gate on it. Let's just uh, ungroup everything. Select both. Ungroup again. Select both tracks. Double click. And then into the object editor, we will load a gate. Like this. Let's listen. Okay. And the thing is, if you do um, the audio to MIDI right now, it will put Melodyne before the gate and detect the same parts. What we'll do is uh, freeze the track. Okay. And then we can make a copy on another track. So if we mute this and listen to this one. Okay. And you see there isn't any objects effect. So now we can do the audio to MIDI. It will load Melodyne, analyze the notes and create our MIDI track. And if we go into the MIDI track and check now, there's a lot less uh, notes that were registered. So, um, so let's call it bass drum MIDI. Let's assign the output to addictive drums. And unmute addictive drums and listen. So again, we don't have the right notes. Go again into the editor, control A, and we play. Okay, let's check with the original. Okay. And we can even um, unfreeze track and go remove the gate. And listen again. Okay. And the old drum. This is with just the MIDI. And the original. Together. Of course, you might have heard in the recording that the drums were sounding pretty fine, so there wasn't any reason to replace them. Um, I prefer to record live drum. I'm a, I'm a drummer myself. Uh, of course, uh, I only have one drum set up in my studio, so if the sound isn't fitting the song, that could be an answer replacing drums, but of course I don't like it. I prefer changing the mics, uh, tuning the my drum uh, differently, or even go into another studio and have uh, their drum on my recording. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on like, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, and share my videos. It's always a great help.